Lick and Greg Vegan Camp, the 30th of November 2019. A snake shedding its skin. Sugar cane. I think some of it is ready to eat. Papaya season and clear skies. Still a couple of passion fruits on the plants. And on the ground. <laughs> tomato nursery. Looking forward to the tomatoes. Some stone magic and some young tomato plants. A couple of ripe tomatoes for the papaya salads. Mulberry plants and mulberry fruit. So this is a specific type of mulberry. It's a white type or white reddish type. I think this is almost ready to eat. Mango flowering. The giant passion fruit. The asparagus field has been cleaned up. Sprinklers are working. It's a sweet corn field, so the sweet corn are coming up. I think if it gets too dry, I think the passion fruit, the giant passion fruit will turn like this. But if you give them water, they will be nice again. I mean, not this one, but the new fruit that will come will be nice. The bananas are growing well, many of them. More microgreens. These are sunflower sprouts. Some of the papayas look a little bit sick like this one, but on the tree over here, these look much more healthy. Here are some papayas hiding in the leaves. Didn't actually see them before looking. Uh, finding this uh, young tree, first fruit on the tree. Never harvested from this papaya tree before, but they are also very nice, look very nice and healthy. When you look out from the camp, from the entrance here, and you can see the mountains in the background, then everything is good. Look at these sweet corn, cute little sweet corn plants. Most of them are purple the sweet corn so like there was one corn that was yellow which was very strange but uh, it might be some some kind of genetic thing like some people also were born with different colors of eyes or hair compared to their parents so anything can happen funny long papayas never harvested from this tree either yeah, many of these banana palms around here were sick, so many of them have been like cut down. Two little durians trying to survive. The mango trees. The middle part here has been mowed with an electric lawnmower. Red Cavendish, still alive. Chilies. This papaya tree is actually the mother of many of the papaya trees growing around here. The rice has been harvested and these are the rice husks, the outer layer of, the, of some of the rice. And here's the rice straw, which is very nice to have here for mulching and for our composting. Small hut small bamboo building material table. Ground cherries. One red banana has been harvested and the other one is just on the other side here ripening up. Anyone care for some tea? New compost area. And we have so much banana that I'm currently experimenting and building a dehydrator. The net I use for the trays or currently building one tray but um, if you know anything any material that is better than this in Thailand then let me know. This is the tray. It will not be hard unless you surround it with bamboo under and over to make this like very very uh, like stretched 
So I still need a little bit under here because like it's not good when they are like bouncy. But I think this is almost good. And also the dehydrator. The idea is to have a door here, then you have a floor and then on the back side you have something that captures. For example, I think I will use some uh, metal pipes or something and the pipes will go down. And when they are heated up by the sun, the air inside of the pipes will be drawn into the dehydrator and through the through the food here and then come out in the top where there's like an, a net up there. So that's the idea. These flies or whatever bees, they're trying to lay eggs in the bananas, but they are trying like to put... <laughs> but I don't think they can do it inside the bananas because so there's so much netting around this so it seems that it's working the netting so the bananas are kept worm free most of them <laughs> now the freezer is like 95 percent there's no more no more room for uh, mangoes or bananas or whatever to freeze so we need to dry them or else they will end up as compost also it's uh, lime season so this is this might look like an orange or whatever, but it's actually a lime and it's completely orange inside. Check out the Instagram. This is not a resident, but it's a resident of a neighboring, neighboring neighbor. <laughs>